There were many questions surrounding Big John Tate as he entered this fight against Trevor Burbick. Uh, less than three months earlier, he suffered a frightening knockout loss to Mike Weaver, being counted out face first on the canvas, losing both his title and a $4 million payday for a bout against the comebacking Muhammad Ali. Uh, meanwhile, Trevor Burbick is the Canadian heavyweight champion, but is still viewed as a stepping stone for Tate. Uh, Burbick has fought exclusively out of Canada and hasn't defeated anyone of note. Uh, he was knocked out in one round by Bernardo Macardo, a fighter that Tate himself stopped in two rounds. Uh, Burbick also struggled to a draw with journeyman Leroy Caldwell. So he's strong and crude, but isn't expected to be anything more than a confidence builder for Tate. On a side note, uh, Ferdy Pacheco is on hand doing the commentary here. As was so often the case in the past, he could make some unintentionally funny errors on the names of fighters. I remember he once called Michael Elijade Michael Elijuan and referring to Iran Barkley as Charles Barkley. Here, listen out for him confusing Trevor Burbick for British actor Trevor Howard. what Burbick is trying to do. He certainly has not wasted any time. And he shows no fear of, uh, of John. John has been very calm. He's taken all of that in stride. Not gotten hit hard. Look at the body definition of Burbick. Mm. Isn't that sensational? Big, strong guy. Two big, strong guys. Big John is pretty strong himself. Great upper body strength. But well, Burbick's doing all the fight. Ah, right hand by John, but Burbick comes right back at him. We're going to find out shortly whether John is gun shy. I don't think John would be gun shy. He has landed a couple of very hard punches, but they, they were not wildly evident. I mean, they were inside kind of hard punches. That's also the right hand body, John. They're yelling for Tate to go to the body. We must have a mic real close to Ace Miller, who's uh, Tate's manager. I don't think you need a mic with Ace Miller. I think they can hear him in Knoxville without the mic. Ace can really holler. In South Africa, we can, when he fought for the title, you can hear Ace Miller all over the auditorium. I always uh, wondered about Tate until I saw him beat Panuccia and then Coatsia. Both tough tests. Well, he's working very good right now. Right now, he's right down to the body. He's doing his homework. And the other fellow started out very fast with a lot of adrenaline pumping, and he's breathing out of his mouth now. And getting hit. John is very methodical. He, that's why they call him the fighting machine. He has a bye until he got busy. And then he went down to business. Now, the bell rang. Burbick stayed an extra 10 seconds on the stool like which is very unnerving if you're doing that after the first round. I mean, it couldn't possibly be busy. I've uh, been tired after the first round. Tate seems a little lethargic to me so uh, far. I was just going to say, it, it, the one rap about Tate is he, he is so unemotional that he seems like he's not even interested in the fight. He, he did that also in, uh, in South Africa when he was fighting Petsia. He has that blank face, so it doesn't even look like he's up for it or he's excited about it. He's just taking it in stride and letting it go. He's not what, he's not really what you call an exciting fighter. You know, he's a methodical, he gets there, he does his job, but he's not that exciting thing like Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, all of those champions that came out and really punched and ate people up. Now, Burbick has, has had the better of all of these. Tate has not been uh, fast. He is lethargic, as you pointed out. He's not really any fast hand speed. He's been getting hit by some stupid punches by Burbick. I mean, things that he shouldn't get hit by. He just doesn't seem warmed up to me, Ferdy. He really doesn't. He got hit with a right hand moving in. I mean, I thought he'd be hurt by that. I think the best thing that could happen to him is he got shook up with a punch and woke him up and, and uh, made him understand he's got to start now. Uh, 
unless this corner wants him to get the work in, I cannot understand why he's not fighting with a little, little bit more fury and fire. Yeah, but now let's take a look and see if Tate finally gets the adrenaline going and starts doing something because Big John has let Trevor Burbick take the play away from him. This is a scheduled 10 rounder. We're in round number three, and the next bout will be Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran for the WBC World's Welterweight Championship. You know, you, you have to say uh, uh, for the public, Trevor Howard has a 16 and 4 record. Of the 16 fights, he's had 12 knockouts. So that you're talking about a man who can punch. You're not talking a man about a man who's just in there for the payday. He can level Tate, and that would be a disaster in his career. We have a. Oh, I see Tate's. He's in good shape. His trunks came down a little bit. No duck to hang on. Able to get off at all. He can't do a lead at all. Oh, great right hand by Tate. A great straight right hand. Who, Burbick was having a pretty good chin. He, yeah. he just got hit by a thunderous right hand by a very heavy. Nice Another hand. one. Oh, Tate got him with that one, too. Tate Might is, have been a little short. Tate is just teeing off, just getting the number now. Of course, the guy, the guy just nodded at him like saying, yeah, that's right, that's two. But he did not stop him, and he's back again. See how loose the ropes are? They're too loose. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Duran and Leonard with those loose ropes. Burbick trying to keep in. I just felt a couple of raindrops. The only reason I mention it, that right hand hurts, that right to the body. He hurt Burbick with it, and Burbick's a little wild now. You know, uh... Burbick is, is rather amateurish coming in with, a, with those punches like that, and I am surprised that John has not really made him pay a price to come in. He comes in sort of paddling along with the lefts and rights. John should really set himself and let the right hand fly. It would be all over. I think John now is starting to find the range. I do believe. Has he got him hurt? No, he just made a good move and ducked under it. You don't see too many heavyweights with that kind of maneuverability like Burbick just showed. I'm surprised that Tate has not gone to the body. He's got this man tired. There he goes. He's got this man tired. He can go to the body now and really put a clincher on this round. And the next round, he can really start leveling. But he's going head hunting here. You took the words right out of my mouth, I swear. <laughs> he really has. Look at look at that. With a miss like that, there should be a rip. You Tate know, seeming more... There was no lesson to, to I, him now. I He's, think I think his corner uh, has said, okay, it's time to get down to action now. Let's go. It takes a little time for John to warm up, too. He's not one of those fighters that comes out roaring at the bell. He's very methodical. There he goes. Rights and lefts, rights and lefts. Not all landing, but the impact is going to be there on Trevor. He's there, right. Well, you can tell his foot speed has gotten up a little bit. He doesn't seem... As I said, the only word I can think of is lethargic. There's where it pays, right in the breadbasket. I'm, I'm surprised this corner has let him get away without a, a really massive body assault to begin the, this fight. That's probably the most difficult thing to do with a fighter. They are virtually there all with there's, there's Now the he is, yeah. There, there's the attack that he has. You see, see, see what happened to him? Now, there you go. There's the, there's right the up a cut under that uh, left-hand lead. Tate is right above us, and he's been landing some very heavy body blows and then coming up to the head. He's landing uppercuts, hooks, and he has, he's get, been getting uh, some shots in return. Burbick is not letting him get away with impunity. He has been nailing him some shots. You know, uh, John has not uh, had the greatest defense in this fight. No, he hasn't, and, and this has been a fairly close fight. Oh, listen, uh, let me tell you, with a good with a good top professional like Burbick and, and many of the top-ranked fighters, John would be having a life-and-death struggle here. Burbick has not laid down. Sure didn't hurt him. He blinked a lot. He certainly got hit coming in. I don't know what, what he's doing, bouncing on his feet and circling this guy when he should be good, taking it right to him. There you go. Good right hand by John Tate. Another good right hand, but he got a good left, right and a left. Good exchange on the ropes. Burbick thinks he's got him. Tate using the peekaboo. The cover. And the referee, what a job that is with these two super threat dogs. He just landed a straight, Burbick just landed a straight right hand and followed it with another straight right hand. A good heavyweight like John Tate should not get hit by that kind of punch. 
Burbick is certainly not backing off. He's standing there with him. Get that box out of there. He cannot get that left hand going for him. And without that left hand, did Tate get cut? Tate's got a little cut under his eye. It's bleeding. Right oh under the left eye. Purdy, is he in trouble? No, no kind of trouble. Just a little slice. It's there, though. He just hit the hurt Tate. Him. And Tate sagged into the ropes. Tate was hurt. Burbick just hit Tate, and Tate sagged into the ropes. You heard him again. Now, now going wild as the Jamaican is on top of Tate, who bangs back. He's got guts. Burbick has put Tate in trouble. He's swelling his eye up. He's got him cut. He's got him sagging into the ropes, and if John just doesn't get off, then Burbick is in command. This is a terrific hard right hand. It was more a push than a real hard punch by Tate. But Tate now starting to use it, and Miller is yelling at him, keep on fighting. Why do they always put a little guy in with two big heavyweights? And he's doing a good job. Referee. Tate, Tate punching, he's got him head. in trouble. He's got Perfect in trouble with a right hand. He's got him going right now. But he hasn't stepped in yet. Perfect fighting back. The referee had to get them both up. The bell rang. Burbick breathing heavily through the mouth. Tate. Tate's in a life and death struggle with this guy. He has got a big test in front of him. And his aspirations for the heavyweight championship are seriously in jeopardy here. If he does not come on and fight a fight of his life, he may lose this fight. I was in punching with Burbick. And Burbick is chasing. Now there's, there's the right hand. He heard him. Tate has just landed a left, right, left, right, but here comes Burbick. <laughs> Ferdy, take a look at the biceps on Burbick. Yeah, that, they're, they're massive, but that doesn't mean anything when it comes to punching. Yeah, I know. But they're still impressive looking. Yes. What's impressive is that Burbick has not backed off of John Tate, and he's winging it with him. John's got to start using the right uppercut. John's got to start fighting. Yep, he really does. He's got to take command here. There you go. Good left and a right, a good left and a right by John Tate, but Burbick comes right back. Hit him a little high. Yes, they don't all land, but the fact is he's got to be throwing something. Yep. All rings. Again, both fighters remain seated. Referee's having a tough time starting the rounds. I don't know whether Burbick is playing possum with him by coming out that slow, because he's coming right in on John Ungerman. Has this young man geared for the fight of his life, and Tate who is trying to get back into the heavyweight picture, has not improved. Oh, there was another right hand to a sacrosanct area. They're screaming from Tate's corner, go to the body. I think you can hear it. Another warning. He's got a lot of confidence now. It's John that's walking around. Uh... Now look at this. There's an exchange where Burbick's getting the better. Yeah. Punching faster. fight was a little bit different from this in that John was in total command of the fight until the very end. Here he was in command until the middle, but Trevor has come on since the middle, and uh, he is getting some beautiful shots by Trevor. Ferber got in a beautiful left hand. Didn't move John back, though. Now he's going back into the ropes. Burbick spoke almost like Weaver, but doesn't hit with the left hand the same way John but John's getting hit by yes, everything. John Tate is getting hit by everything. He's throwing punches underneath. Good left hand by Burbick. That was met by a good right hand by Tate. Good fight. We're going back and forth. First grade, and you rarely see a heavyweight fight at this kind of a pace. And look was Ali and Frazier. 
Tate just landed a good. And he is still chasing Tate, which has got to cost him points. The aggressor in this fight from the last three or four rounds has been Burbick chasing Tate, not the other way around. He hurt Tate. Just hurt him again. Hurt him. Tate's got two rounds. I think Tate's a little behind right now, Purdy, just unofficially here. Because Burbick has been the aggressor and landed the harder punches, and Tate is really shaken up. And Burbick wants to. Let's do this. Now, watch this exchange here. Look at that flush punch, and look at what just missed. Had that landed, it would have been something. Now, here we get. Look at that connection. I'm telling you, these guys are winging it. These are two heavyweights in top action. You cannot see heavyweights go at each other as hard as this and something not go. I am shocked and amazed this fight's gone this far. This is a sensational heavyweight fight for the kind of leather they've thrown and the kind of punishment they've taken. There's the sugar still warming up. Now you can see he's got a good sweat because it's a cool night. He's got to get warm. That green belt that you see is the welterweight championship of the world. And he's got a big reaction from the crowd again. Some booze, some hollers, and no shrugs. Oh, Perbic is all ready to go now. He's way off his stool. He is, and Ungerman has him going now. John is breathing hard. Yeah, breathing very hard. Look at Burbick. He's up. He's ready to go. Did the bell sound? The bell apparently no. sounded now. Burbick is saying. Burbick. Burbick is saying the bell should have sounded. Look at this. Watch as he catches him a right hand. Now he's on the way down and a right to the back of the head. And he's chasing him and a left and a right to the back of the head. He's almost chased him all over the ring. Burbick went on to challenge Larry Holmes for the WBC heavyweight title, losing a decision but breaking Holmes's knockout streak for title defenses. Burbick improved throughout his career and it was good enough to beat the likes of Greg Page, David Bay, and Mitch Green, as well as dethroned WBC champion Pinklon Thomas before facing the wrath of a rampaging Mike Tyson in 1986. Uh, as for Big John Tate, this is one of those fights where hindsight is 20-20. Uh, the common refrain now is to chastise Tate's management for putting him in with someone as physically strong as Burbick so quickly after suffering a knockout. But again, at the time, it was easy to see how they looked at Burbick's resume and saw a lesser opponent who would give Tate a few rounds and do little else. Tate succumbs to drug use after this bout, uh, blowing up in weight and eventually meeting a tragic end if you haven't checked out the piece on John Tate yet, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, thanks for watching.